How many ways are there to get from point A to point B if you can only move right or down? Now, the point of this problem isn't to get you to be dumb in this case and try to count every single way, like, like actually, like count how many ways are there, like literally, like see, how, like how many ways there are. But they want you to find a slicker way to do this, and usually, we can find a much simpler problem. Simple, like eh, two by two squared. So, and same thing happens from point A to point B, and then we want how many ways are there to get from point A to point B if we can only move right or down? Well, this, since this problem is a lot simpler, we can just count the answers. So one, two, three, and the other side, one, two, three, so, so three on one side and three on the other, so six ways in total to do this problem. Well, again, we can find a much better way to do this. I'm going to get rid of this missing word that again. Here, same two by two square. And then, well, we can think, well, first of all, if A was only this far away from B, well, then there was only, there's only going to be one way to go down to B, right? From here, one way. From here, there's only one way to get to B. So what if A was a little farther out? Say A was right here. Well, if you started from there, you, you had two choices. You could go right or you could go down. Well, if you go right, there's only one way back. If you go down, there's only one way back. So one plus one, that's two ways back from point, well, this new point A to B. Well, then say we started up here. Well, up here, well, there's only one way to get back because uh, like the only thing you can do is go down and there's only one way back from there. And same thing with this corner. And now, well, this point, well, then we just have two ways if you go right, one way if you go down. So one plus two, three ways to get back. So here, two plus one, three ways. And all the way back there, we have three plus three, six ways, again, to get from point A to point B. So that gives us an idea about how to solve this problem here. We can do the same thing because, again, if A was over here, there's only one way to get back. It was here, there's also only one way. And same goes with everything along this edge. There's, there's only one way to get back. Well, up here, there's one plus one, two ways. Here, well, there's still one plus two, three ways. So you can just add the, the numbers that are to the right and to, and to the down. And, and, and to the down of it. Three, and this is six. Well, three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. Five plus one is six. Well, four plus six is 10. And then we can work to this point and this point so that we can add those together to get A. Well, it's 10 plus five. Here's 15 ways. When A is all the way up here, then there's 15 ways to get back to B. 15 plus 6, there's 21 ways to get back. And now, moving this way, well, here there's only 6 ways because <laughs> you have no other choices. Here's also 6 ways to get make it a little small. 6 ways to get back. Well, 10 plus 6 is 16. Plus 6 again, here's 22 ways to get back. And 15 plus 16 here is 31, or almost there. 31 plus 21 is 52, 31 plus 22 is 53, and finally 53 plus 52 is 105 ways to get from point A to point B. Good luck counting that.